We're going to be kicking things off with the beautiful works yes. of Timi Kakanda, mm. who uses painting, drawing, and collage to explore his fascination with the human existence. Nigeria's contemporary He's artist whose works are widely collected both locally and internationally. Trust me, you will be blown away. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you here. Thank you very much. I was telling you before we came on um, yes. live, I'm like, your work, you're, you're too proud. <laughs> like, I feel like you just sit down and say, how am I going to blow their minds today? And you just, How long does it take you to create all these pieces? I, I mean, per piece. How, how long did it take you to create this, for example? Well, from uh, conception, yes. idea, conception, mm -hmm. to finish the piece, yes. can take up to three weeks. Three weeks? Or two weeks. So, let's talk about conception. Yes. So how do you come about, um, how, do, how do you start? Do you just feel like, oh, I want to I want to make a mom and a child? Or how does it come to life? Well, uh, whenever we want to create art, usually there has to be a point of inspiration. Okay. And inspiration can come from different sources. Yes. Sometimes when I watch uh, TVC news, I see what's happening mm -hmm. in the nation. Yeah. It propels me. Mm to make a comment. Okay. But as an artist, the best way I can make a comment is through, is through art. my art. Mm. So I create pieces yeah. that can reflect that uh, issue okay. that I see that's mm. troubling me. That's troubling you. Aside from that, again, when I see beauty, when I see laughter, when mm. I see joy, it propels me again yes. to create art. Oh, In another scenario, uh, I can see somebody or maybe deep inside of me, mm -hmm. there's that feeling to yeah. uh, portray something like hope. Okay. Even though situations might look not, not too, too pleasant yeah. around us. Mm -hmm. So uh, I create art. Okay. Then uh, looking at our cultural background yes. too. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I'm motivated to create art to show our culture. Fantastic. So I create art based on a multiple reasons. Hmm. Yes. And I mean, our country, our continent puts you <clears throat> in a place where you have so you're you're exposed to a lot too much too many too many options too to much. create fantastic too much. let's quickly delve into what you brought today okay the very first one that blew all our minds <laughs> it was it's fabulous Thank you. this lady she has daring eyes yeah. with beautiful hair yeah this is beautiful kiko now yeah. what inspired this i feel like she sat for you to do this but how did you go about this from concept uh from what well, the initial idea behind yes. that work mm -hmm. is to portray our culture. Okay. Because as much as we create art, yes. we also create cultural uh, um, uh, assets. Okay. And just like in the past, yes. when uh, the British and all manner of foreigners came yeah. to Africa mm -hmm. and they saw what we created and they took it over mm -hmm. to their own country. Yes. So when they are talking about Africa mm -hmm. or referring to things about Africa, those works are strong uh, uh, images of images, Africa. Yes. So as much as we create art, we also try to create art that is rooted to Africa. Africa, yes. Uh, rooted to our culture. Mm -hmm. In my art, I try to uh, tell stories about our culture. culture yeah. So when you look at it, you can yeah. see the beautiful hair that the Very African beautiful. woman mm -hmm. carries. Mm -hmm. Then much more than that, mm -hmm. there's also an expression, someone says uh, you can see into the soul through, yeah, the, eyes. through the eyes. So I try to uh, also uh, bring that into focus in yes. my works. Yeah. I want to, I want to ask about the colors. So yes. There's quite a splash of colors here. Yes. What informed your choices of these colors? I love colors. Hmm. Okay. I love colors. Okay. It's hard for me to uh, do a work that is not so colorful. I love colors, though in some occasions, like there's a work uh, beside it there, yes. it's this almost one, like yeah. a monochrome, though you mm -hmm. still have traces of colors mm -hmm. in it. But I love colors. I, the African yeah. uh, is a colorful person. Yes. So as much as possible, while telling stories of my culture, mm -hmm. I like to just Give a splash of colors. Splash of colors. But let's talk yeah. about this one. It looks more 
it looks like a ceremony is about to take place, like um, a cultural ritual or something. Not not scary ritual, uh, but like a coronation no. of a prince or a marriage ceremony. Tell me, <laughs> what's what is what's the story behind this? Well, that work uh, is trying to uh, depict the past. You know, mm. in our past, uh, we had. Uh, men marry more than one wife. You say past? I say forever. But okay. Well, it's still happening. <laughs> exactly. But you know, Christianity has come in and is like in so, in so many places now. Yeah. It's not permitted. Mm -hmm. harsh. But in our past, we had women, two women, three women marry one man. One man, yeah. And there was less morality in our society. Mm -hmm. So uh, this was like, there was a storyline okay. that I was trying to craft and Here. this was part of that storyline. Okay. I create art sometimes out of poems. I write poems. So yeah. after writing a poem, I sometimes pull out images from the poem and depict in my work. Okay. So that work came out of that storyline okay. of our past where mm. we had less Marital issues, issues. less uh, 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 moral issues or immoral issues in our little communities, communities when yeah. women were, you know, attached to. <laughs> <laughs> that my laugh is not really. <laughs> I know. Now this. Nah, nah, nah. We 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 ain't gonna share. It doesn't but work that way. So let's talk about it. You can see it. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about this work. <sighs> we have this. Mother, mother with child. the child yes. and this is very African yes very colorful yeah I want to know the poem or the story ah it actually came out from a poem I wrote about a loving mother yeah uh, who will give her last strength her last breath to mm. hold on to her child, her child. see the child Looking uh, up to his mother. Grew up strong and will sacrifice her life for the child. Yes. I had a very loving mother. Oh. So uh, this work is like portraying that, uh, that theme of a loving mother and child. And also, uh, this work is also is like uh, connecting to another poem I wrote about. Yeah. Uh, existence coming out from Africa, yeah. Mother, Africa. Mother Africa. So she represents Mother, Mother Africa. Africa. This is, oh, yeah. Thank you so much. I must say this has been <laughs> such an inspiring session with yeah. you. I love the stories behind every piece of art. Thank I love you. how you show Africa in such yeah. a colorful way. I, I yeah. love how you depict the African woman. It makes me so proud to be African. <laughs> thank you so much for, for being thank a part you. of the show today. Thank you. Thank you know, Artsy Thursdays is always beautiful. We get to exhibit beautiful <clears throat> works from beautiful creatives across our country. And of course, our guest today was no different. We have so much more in store. I'm sure you're enjoying it. You do not want to go anywhere. We will be right back after this quick break.